going into the washing station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. Well, I was going into the washing station. Welcome back. It is I, the Oscar nominated A Hole. Today, we will once again talk about another SpongeBob episode, and that being the next in our series, Pizza Delivery. Now, if you're a fan of SpongeBob such as myself, you know that Pizza Delivery is regarded among the fandom as one of the most popular episodes within the uh, most popular seasons, seasons one, two, and three. It is a very uh, iconic episode, uh, mostly for the rampant singing of tomfoolery, but most importantly, an interesting story arc. Now, I want to talk about the story arc before I talk about the character lessons and such in it. And the character lessons for kids especially is essentially tied to the core as to why this episode is so famous. Um, that is being of Squidward and Spongebob relationship. Now, uh, before this episode came out, it was kind of common and knowledgeable that Squidward just did not like Spongebob. And Squidward basically just liked Spongebob being in pain. He thought it was funny, you know, anything to get the guy who annoyed the crap out of him. Uh, to shut up and maybe realize that life sucks and it's not that great, um, Squidward kind of found that fun and he enjoyed that. In this episode, it's a little different. Squidward actually sees SpongeBob in pain, but he doesn't get mad. He doesn't get angry um, at SpongeBob. If anything, he defends him. He gets angry for him, not at him. And it's a very turn. It's a big turn. It's a turn in character. Something that Squidward had never, has never done in any episode um, and since, you know, until it came out. It was the first time he actually showed some humanity. Some humanity that you did not think was there. Um, and a really big lesson important to kids in this episode especially is if people annoy you, if, if people you don't like get hurt, you shouldn't laugh at them. You shouldn't make fun of them. You know, even the meanest person on earth, Squidward, can say, you know, I don't really like you, but I can see that you care a lot and it hurt your feelings. And I don't want to see you hurt. I don't want to see you like that. I want to stand up for you. I want to protect you. I will stand up for people that I care about, even if they are annoying sometimes. And... That's a really popular, well, not popular, but it's a very important lesson. It's a very important lesson for our current generation. Um, kids growing up nowadays, you know, it's so easy to bully or to totally neglect other people in regards to technology. And, you know, some people might be more annoying because, oh my gosh, I'm on my cell phone, leave me alone. I'm trying to text, I'm trying to text my friends, I'm trying to FaceTime, Snapchat, you know, leave me alone. I'm trying to do my thing, don't be annoying. But even the people who are annoying to you, you know, they mean something to someone out there, and you need to at least, you know, if they do get hurt, like, you need to have the humanity, and even Squidward, the person who has probably the least humanity next to Plankton within the SpongeBob universe, says, no, this is too far, this is enough, and so that's something that a lot of people really enjoy about this episode, is that you get to see a part of Squidward's humanity. Now, there are several episodes that happen later on in the series where Squidward does this, but it's a very rare occurrence, and the rare occurrence is that it does happen, they're very fun, very interesting, very, um, uh, just, you know, great lessons for kids. Um, <clears throat> another thing that's really interesting about this episode is the fact of being cheerful no matter what. Uh, throughout the episode, SpongeBob thinks that, you know, they're lost and they're never going to do what they need to do to, uh, for their job. But SpongeBob puts a happy face on it and he constantly uh, tries to have the most positive attitude in the world. So that that's the gist of this episode. Pizza delivery is very iconic, it's very fun, and the message is learnt is to be nice to people even if they're annoying to you and to never give up and to always pursue the things that seem the most impossible. I hope that you all enjoyed uh, this little snippet summary and lesson uh, talk about this little miniature video essay about Spongebob, and I'll catch you guys later. But I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. But I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. Look!